G'day, g'day everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, we take on the Geelong Cats in a prelim final. We've come from sixth to make it to the prelim on a Saturday night in Sydney at Giants Stadium. Um, yeah, they've got Paige Edgefield out, massive. Got best on against us last time, absolutely killed it. Um, Josh Kelly was meant to be back this week, but will miss another week, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, Daniel Lloyd was a standout player in the twos. And I really did consider, um, you know, bringing him in, but I ended up bringing in Connor Stone instead, as you would have seen in the preview. So without further ado, let's hop right in to the preliminary final. Here we go, up against the Cats, preliminary final. Do or die, win through the grand final, lose, you gotta wait till next season. The Giants Stadium here. Overcast weather, we've just heard them say. Ooh. Yeah, you can see the clouds up in the sky. There's our team. Just the one change. And this is the Geelong side with no Stanley and no Dangerfield. There's no deserving it. There's only earning it. That's actually a good banner. That's actually quite a good banner to have in a preliminary final. But who will get up is the question here, of course. So I'm going to run through their banner. Bit of warm up. We go to us. No more second chance. Oh, we've done it. That's boring as we've done the same as we had in the qualifying final. Even though we did have a second chance in the qualifying final. No more second chances, it's on the line. Let's wrap this up quick to avoid overtime. You beauty. Higher sleeps are stronger than the rest. On the Giants. Oh, Hopper. Beautiful. Hands it off to Whitfield. Who can chip it over the top? Meant to go to Hogan, but I put a bit too much on it. But Hogan will just run onto it anyway. And Jesse Hogan will kick the first in the prelim. Can the Giants. Good start. Good spoil from Daniels. Hopper. Tackle. Green belts it long. Get the Himmelberg. If he gets a Finlayson, I think opening the square, and he does, and he finds Finlayson beautifully. An awesome start here for us, especially if Finlayson can go back and slot this, and he does. Come the Giants. Awesome stuff here. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Proust punches it down. O'Halloran gets a great tackle. Hogan mops it up, tackle. Hopper hands it out to Tanner Braun. Who slots the snag? We've kicked the first three of the game. Can the Giants? Proust punches it down. Cornelio out of the middle. Stephen Cornelio, come on. Out of the rock contest, sorry, out of the middle. We've kicked the first four goals of the game, and what a start we're off to here. Davis just goes nice and short to Anglin. Who gets the hands off oh, going to the ball, but it falls short. Kennedy does find the ball. Oh, this isn't ideal at all. This is not great. Rowan kicks Song's first snag of the game just over halfway through the first quarter. Across goals, and Old Man doesn't get there. After two, he doesn't get there in time. But he manages to still get the ball and get it out. Oh, go Toronto. Ball just perfectly sat into Toronto's hands. 
handballs it to Bruin, who handballs it to Daniels, and we've kicked yet another one. Count on the Giants. What a great first quarter we're having here at Giants Stadium. Spoil that, Keith. Good spoil. Anglin. Handballs it to Taylor, who gets tackled. Bruce. I uh, went to go back to Anglin, but it was uh, intercepted. And to Mark from Max Holmes. Probably about 25, 30 metres out from their goal. Late in the first quarter, I've introduced our lead back down to three goals. And Holmes has kicked it, our lead back down to three goals late in the first quarter. Did it beautifully, but he's tackled another ball up in the centre square. And that is quarter time. We've got a three goal lead going into quarter time. That is absolutely awesome from us. Yeah, just a great first quarter. Yeah, I mean, there's not much for us to say. It was just an awesome first quarter from us. Room. Tackle, but the ball spills beautifully to Whitfield. Who has a lot of space to run. Sees Toby Green wide open in a great position. I don't know what Cam Guthrie was thinking running off him like that, but Toby Green wide up for his first of the game and the first of this quarter. It's in the green and he slotted it straight through the middle. Great start here for the Giants. Come on, 23 point lead now for us. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh, both our defenders that were there out bumped. And then Perryman missed his bump, so Markle takes the mark. Perryman runs back to the line as Markle lines up. Fidelon's first of the second quarter. And that'll be a snag for Quinton Markle. Now the lead back down to 17 points. Mumford doesn't win the rock that time, loses it to Jenkins. Good spoil from um, Davis, good tackle from Kennedy. But here goes Isaac Smith who just mops up the ball and he kicks the snag. Two quick goals here for Katz and our lead down to just 11 points. Perryman mops up the pill, he's tackled, that could be holding the ball and it is. Three, I think that might be Brendan Parfit. Lines up for his second of the game to reduce our lead to just five points now. Wouldn't want this. But he slotted it. Drop punted it as well. Great goal there for Geelong. They've kicked three in a row. And Hopper tackled. Toby Green also tackled. Ball up just outside our 50. Mumford punches it down. Good tackle from Green. Daniels mops up the loose ball and he runs in and he kicks the snag. A handy goal there for us just to steady the ship for us a bit. Stop Geelong's momentum. And we take our 11 point lead back. We feel it out bumped and it's a mark for Gary Rowan. He looks back towards the middle. It's a good spoil from Hopper. Key shrugged off like there's absolutely nothing. And Jeremy Cameron kicks it from like 50 out. Absolutely slots it. That is a great goal there from Jeremy Cameron. Our lead back down to just five points. Braden Proust punches it along the boundary line. Parfit spinning everyone. Shrugged off two. Spun hangs and then shrugged off two tackles. And then gave the handball off to Duncan who just slotted a great snag. And Geelong for the first time in this game have the lead. Rogues it. The ball spills to Braun. He kicks it but he hits the post. So the score's in the other level. Late in this first half. And is this how that will end? Yes, it is. It will end 7-2-44 to 7-2-44. A great first half and an awesome second quarter there for Geelong. That was amazing there from Geelong. Mitch Duncan is playing some great footy. Same with Gary Rowan for them. For us, we've got Nick Haynes playing pretty well, running off that back flank. Lockie Keith, he's had probably like five or six spoils already. Mumford wins the ruck tap, taps along the deck. Picks it up, gets tackled. Hogan handballs it to himself. And it's just, there's a lot of space for him to run into. He, he waited for the Geelong defender to run off of Finlayson. And he eventually did it. Went long to Finlayson. He plays on, he's kicked it into the post. Finlayson's kicked it into the post. Oh my, I mean, I probably could have gone back, but there was room to run into. Oh my lord. Oh. But Tanner Brown to make a seven point play. Kicks the snag. It ended up benefiting us. With the seven point play there. Tannerbrook was pretty quiet in the qualifying final against Richmond, but he's had a great, um, great game so far.
Whitfield went to handball to Proust, but just didn't find him. And straight away, uh, Geelong kick a snag. Oh, he's at the post. He's at the post. Gary Rowan now as well. Wow. Tomento picks up, shrugs off a tackle, but then gets tackled and the ball spills. That's a long bomb from, I think it was Narkel, was it? Yeah. It was a good bounce. It would have gone through, but just a bit of an unlucky bounce there, so it's a point. Come on, Mumford. Mumford punches it down. Himmelberg to Taranto to Daniels to Brun, who straightens up. And slots the snag. Our lead back out to 11 points now. This is beautiful stuff. Tanner Brunner's kicked three goals. Ball dropped. Oh, Gary Rowan. Oh, he's been tackled. That was a great. I didn't see what was by, but that was a great tackle. Really last chance defense stuff there. But in the end, it doesn't matter because Manigola still kicks the snag. Yeah, good tackle. Oh, he's tackled him high. Brent Daniels. Good mark from Connor Stone. Who puts it to to uh, puts it into space for Finn Lason to lead to, to lead onto, and he hits him up beautifully. Finn Lason will now line up for I believe his second goal of the game, and he absolutely slots it a beautiful pass, a mark, and beautiful set mark, and pass in there from Connor Stone, and just a nice. Uh, composed goal there from Finn Lason. Henry to a dangerous position and he's gone straight to Finn Lason. Great stuff from Finn Lason. That was not smart there from Jack Henry. Great from Finn Lason though. Will it go in? Yes, it will. Finn Lason's kicked his third of the game. Our lead out to 17 points after this quarter, uh, quarter was very low scoring. Slivened up a bit here late. Stone punches it to the ground. And Holmes pushes Hopper in the back, who's very low on stamina. Hopper will line up. You'd think he'd kick this. Jacob Hopper slots the snag. he lead out to 23 points. This quarter was very low scoring, but all of a sudden, trying to run out of stamina or something, we've run all over him. Kicking the last three goals in a row. Stoney out bumps, but then gets out bumps. To ball handles it to Harry Himmelberg. He just runs all the way in. And kicks the snag. Come the Giants. We've really run away with it late here in this quarter. Good spoil from Perryman. Oh, I still... If, I reckon he's kicked that on the siren, but he's hit the post. Geelong could have really used that goal there just to give him a little something heading into the last quarter. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're certainly not out of it with a 28-point lead there from us. Very, very handy. But, mate, they... I mean, halfway... That was... It started out as a very low scoring quarter and then halfway through we just went up to a new level. I mean yeah, great football there from us, just great quarter or great second half of the quarter before that was a bit scrappy. But yeah, to Henry. Long towards a wing. Good spoil from Kennedy. Good tackle from Toronto, I think. Green from fifty here. Green belts it long. And it's gone in. Toby Green, what a goal. Our lead out to 34 points now early on in the last... Okay, so sorry, I accidentally bloody... Oh, shit, here go Geelong. They've kicked another one. Yeah, so I accidentally... Don't know what happened, but... I was just looking back at the clips because I realised I did something and I accidentally didn't clip. Or, oh, um, for some reason I wasn't recording when Geelong kicked their goal before that one. But, oh, shit, here goes Geelong again. But yeah, no, what I said after it was um, the interesting news, Jacob Hopper going off with a potential injury because he's very low on stamina. And um, I thought, give England a bit of a run through the middle because he's been good as a running half back and I feel like he might have a good run in the mid. But anyway, back to the footy. Geelong going back into their 50 yet again for three goals in a row. Keith manages to outrun uh, Myers though. Oh, but Toronto misses the tackle. Myers has kicked in the... Oh my God. Geelong are just really coming back at us massively. They kicked three quick goals in a row. Geelong played right there in the end. He just decked him. There was a great tackle from Green. Whitfield mops it up. Chips it over the top. Finds Brun who can just slow it down. So I said, oh, no, he won't. Because we've got Connor Stone wide open. Yeah, that is not great defense there from Cam Guthrie. Again, that's the second time this game he's left someone wide open. So Connor Stone lines up from a spot where he should kick it. Just to push our lead back out yet again to 22 points. And he does. So just 
Keeping our lead nice in a in a comfortable spot. Cameron just gets it out of the boot. Can't spoil that, Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy couldn't get the spoil over Narkel. So Narkel will line up to reduce our lead to just 16 points. And he slotted it. Oh my days. Haynes goes long. Angwin spoils it down. Himmelberg. Himmelberg with just a space. Cruz misses the tackle. Geelong. Oh yeah, time is of the essence here for Geelong and they are running out of it. I think Geelong have run out of time. And with Green kicking a point. Oh my god, I thought that was a goal. But yeah, they're it. they've definitely run out of time now anyway. I didn't hear the bloody whistle. Oh no, it doesn't matter though because we go through by 17 points. We're into the grand final. My god, my god, my god, that third quarter, the third quarter won us the game there. Tan Braun easily has to be best on, and he is. Come on! The third quarter won us the game, we kicked six goals one to their one goal three. The first and third quarter, when we went to that end, that was a massive scoring end. Wow. Yeah, and it wasn't even the whole third quarter, it was the second half of the third quarter, because Halfway through the third quarter, it was, yeah, the third quarter was very low scoring and quite scrappy and I was like, oh, we could be on for a game here, even potentially overtime and stuff, like, could be very close, but yeah. And then the second half of the third quarter, we really just ran all over and calm the Giants, we're through to the grand final. And just a bit more of an in-depth look to the stats, I think everyone had a touch. Um, Brun, Dan, oh, Hayne Haynes leading out touches with Hopper, not... Only one touch behind, which actually I think it was off in the end for like half the last quarter. So that's pretty good there from Hopper Marks. Uh, Angle and Finlayson led with four each. Blum not too far behind. Stone also there. Hit outs. I mean, that's pretty usual. Mumford and our second ruck, which in today's game was pretty just dominating. Freeze four. Haynes one. Hopper one. Mumford one. Freeze against. Two to Perryman. Angle one. Dennis one. Hopper one. Mumford one. O'Halloran one. Whitfield one. Tackles, Whitford had a monstrous eight. DeBoer six, O'Halloran five, Canelio, Daniels Green, Hogan, a couple others four. Scoring, goals, Brun three one, Finlayson three one, Daniels two straight, Green two straight, a couple blokes kick one. Fantasy points, yeah, our top three were Brun, Mumford, Finlayson. But yeah, um, um, for the other prelim, I think I predicted West Coast to win, but I'm not going to show you. So it will be a surprise as to who we play in the grand final. So I'm just probably just going to leave it here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode, which will be a grand final. We will have a crack at winning GWS, their first ever premiership up the Giants.